Well, I think Tetra KO is going to uh, just help the fire service immensely. Um, just for the instance of working into a fire, uh, we can coat the walls on our way in. We make sure the fire is not going to uh, catch behind us or rekindle behind us, start again. Um, it's going to be, uh, like I said, revolutionary. It's going to aid us in protecting our own our own firefighters. Um, yeah, it's remarkable stuff. I was pretty amazed. I was working the nozzle. Uh, the initial knockdown was quick, um, and it stayed down, I think, longer than it you, you would with water, uh, but especially on the rekindle. Um, you could see the fire in the middle there was ripping pretty good. And, uh, uh, you know, what fire does, it goes and rolls across the ceiling and would have come right out the door, but we had coated uh, the ceiling, and it, 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 it slowed it down, stopped it, essentially, uh, which is pretty amazing. And the other thing I take away from this is, we did not use much water or not use much product uh, to knock down and then keep it down. And that's pretty amazing. You know, you can put a couple hundred gallons of water on something like that. And I think I heard somebody say it was only about 30 gallons. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Tetra KO product was, uh, was great. Uh, it was impressive how it uh, coagulated and kind of stuck to the ceiling uh, when we sprayed it. So uh, revolutionary, it was, it was awesome. Generally, we'll have the nozzle steady stream of water for you know minutes on time. Uh, it was remarkable. We usually yeah. use probably on a fire like that, 200, 300 gallons, just guessing, trying to knock it down. So us firefighters, we're kind of nozzle happy. We like like, that, like it that way. <laughs> so this is going to interfere with your job satisfaction a little uh, bit. Somewhat, <laughs> somewhat it will. Yeah, I'll retrain. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do is simulate a rural structure fire right on a farm where we have a barn on fire. It's got a heavy fuel load, significant amount of straw in there. It should go up pretty quick. And what I want you guys to do is go in there, hit the top window, side window, and then through the door, and then underneath the eaves in this opening here. And we're just gonna see how well it holds it down with that disrupting a thermal layer on the ceiling as the flames start rolling on a defensive fire. Okay, let's go. Okay, now you're going to want to get that video camera up there. Okay, 